So uh, I would like to know, how did you discover medical media? Um, <clears throat> so I I, uh, I trained as internist and was actually a hospitalist when I first came out. That was more than 20 years ago. I think it was 20 more than 20 years ago. I'm not doing the math right, but uh, meaning I only saw patients in the hospital. So I get cases where I didn't know what to do. And I would have six different specialists come in and they were like, well, the patient's not dying. Well, you know, why don't you send them home? Because the hospital is for a place for the very sick or the dying. And so I would send them home so to allow the, the doctors as an outpatient in the clinic to work them up and do whatever they have to do non-urgently because hospitals are very expensive. And then a month or two later, they come back with the same symptoms. They, they had seen the other specialists outside and they couldn't figure it out. So I just like, well, it, some things we don't, we can't explain. We don't know in, in conventional medicine. Um, and then when I transitioned to clinic medicine only where I got away from the hospital, because it takes a lot of time. I love it, but uh, it's very time consuming. <clears throat> and I wanted to be near my family. So I opened my own clinic and I started gravitating to more alternative approaches. And I was looking for answers for my family members and for my own patients. So I went through a lot of different alternative practitioners. I think many of your listeners probably have done that. They spent a lot of money, a lot of time. And I won't say that I wasted the money, but I, I learned <laughs> the hard way. You see a lot of people recommending this and that. And I fell for many of those as a doctor. So I, I kind of, I know that journey of people looking for answers and like, wow, this must be the next best thing. And then it kind of falls flat and you just feel very let down. And uh, so um, one of these days, I think I was listening to Hay House Radio and I heard Anthony come on the radio station and I was like, that's intriguing. What he's saying makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when his book came out, I, and actually, I actually got a session with him prior to the, I think, prior to the book coming out. So that's how I play Anthony. And and within like, we implemented something for our family member and we had gone to all these different alternative doctors and didn't work very well. We saw some changes in him. So I said, hey, there's there's something there, okay? So I think that answers, how did I find him, right? And the way that I continue with it with this is that when I think about treatment, I think about risk benefit ratio. What is the risk? What is the benefit? And when you're using medication, when you're writing a prescription, when you're ordering a, a, um, a test, MRI, CAT scan, you have to figure out what is the risk of that and will it give me information that will be helpful and won't hurt me. Mm. So if you look at celery juice, what is the risk? What is the benefit? Well, the risk is that you'll have loose stools, maybe urinate more. You have to spend more money on it. The, ratio, the benefits are many. Blood pressure, skin bowel movements, all these different things. So this is how I, I evaluated when I first got into Anthony Williams' information. And I started giving my patients, hey, try this, try a little bit of this. And it seemed to work, it didn't hurt them. It actually helped. So so I got more into it um, as the years went by. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And um, I, yes, and my father, I said, you know, I will meet Dr. Fan, and he had a question about celery juice. So may I ask? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he asked me, my father is going to be 80 at, by the end of this month. I love him. I love my both, both of my parents. And he said, could you ask Dr. Fan, you know, why when we stop drinking the celery juice, we don't eliminate with bowel movement as easy. So that was his question. So um, is, can you offer an answer for that? Yeah, I mean, number one is what does celery juice do? It hydrates you well, mm -hmm. right? So if you're not hydrating as much, there you go, right? The, the, the mineral salts that Anthony talks about, the special you know, sodium mineral salts, have a have a configuration that when they're intact, I mean they're not disturbed by other things like water or, or lemon, they help push things out of your system as well. Mm. So that's a simple answer there. I mean, there's probably one of these days, 10 years from now, they'll do they'll do studies on this and they'll say, oh, we found these chemical, and they'll try to make a pill of, of celery juice. It's not mm -hmm. gonna work. I and mean, there are actually studies for celery juice uh reducing high blood pressure. I, I think it's like somewhere in Sri Lanka or somewhere, some journal somewhere out. But it's interesting that there are studies saying, hey, this does do something. 
Yes, that's great. I always suggest to continue with celery juice because it helped him a lot. 